Okay. Our next goal is going to be to invade another region. Many Gondorians died during the fall of Minas Ethel, but some became prisoners, learned the fates of Idril and Berenor. That sounds like a good place to go. Now, I don't know at all how this works. Um, I assume I have to bring my captains with me if I, if I want to utilize them. Cold. So what do we got? We got a bunch of tribal showdowns. We've got some towers. So it looks like today is going to be a get the towers and other things exploration video. I think that's, that's probably the way we're going to go at first. I like doing things in a you know, a logical manner. So we will go ahead and start by unlocking some towers. Wow. That's super cool. These orcs have much pride, which will make their fall even more humiliating. There's a lot of worms around. So that's also good. Because I do want to get, you know... Actually, I mean, since I'm here... Take down the monument. You'll never get away. Do you know how long that took to build? Look out! Talk is skulking about! Slave bears my brand. Hot iron on seared flesh. Soon I will brand you as well and show all of Mordor I own you. <laughs> and then there's another one over here. But I'm not here for them. I'm here for this. Brand new area, tons of new captains. Let's start from the top and work our way down. So our overlord is a level 40. I'll look into all this later, I'm just gonna mark them for now. the War Chiefs, one at a time. Sathra Corpse Liquor. Wait, there was another one.
mice head, but he doesn't have any hair. Okay, sure. Okay, I don't see any other worms in the immediate vicinity. Oh, yeah, I do. the shiver. Another big boy, Abaruk the Mountain. Iron will means I can't take him regardless of whether I wanted to. glad there are plenty of these around because we've got lots of captains to, to reveal. Yeah, we're just going to go left to right. Thrack the chop. Gladly for the glory of the Dark Lord. I only hope your death will not be too easy. Sorry, not particularly interested. We do have a quest over here. Negras. Long ago, Celebrimbor bought or brought his legendary elven precision to bear on his enemies. By killing ghouls, recall how he kept invasion force safe from Mordor's many dangers. Megras, an elven virtue celebrated by the jewelsmiths I taught during the Second Age. I have to defeat 40 ghouls before time runs out. problem with running out of either focus or arrows. It's just time that I have to worry about. Oh, I was already done. Excellent. Use only five arrows. Now that's... that's an interesting one. I'm not gonna bother with it right now, but... In the future, if I do a video where I just go for all goals. many wonders, and our precision was enhanced by the techniques Sauron taught us. Each collaboration brought us closer to perfection. 
we know what this fight. Okay, there's my tower. Wrong one. That's the guy. A lot of these are really far away. And that's everything. Okay. May as well grab the near the things that are near me while I'm here. Grab that Athildan. So there's a worm right here. I'm not gonna like go really deep into the traits of these uh, captains during these videos because I don't think that's what this video series is for. I want to focus mostly on the story, but if somehow these Shadow of War videos get more popular, then I'll do more technical kind of videos and maybe even some tutorials if I figure out what I'm doing. Can't I? I'm gonna cut it up good. I heard something over here. I can't seem to destroy it. Goes. That was weird. Alright, we're out of here. In fact, where are we going next? There's an Athildan right here, which we'll grab next. Thank you. 
Okay, what next? Now, we'll go ahead and grab that artifact while we're here. Cursed Mystic, Epic Smoke Bomb, Cursed Weapon, you might be interesting. of Eregion illuminate a room with a soft glow, one that leaves only the most tenuous of shadows, a light that seems willing to turn corners and reach further than it ought. When we stored these lamps in the Great Hall, I would light them for an evening every midwinter just to ensure they still functioned. They cheered me so much that I always resolved to do so more often, but then I'd forget or put it off. How I miss their light now. I fashioned these lamps and gave them to the dwarves of Moria. And they've traveled very far indeed. But in whose hands? Okay, where are we going now? Okay, so we gotta go right through the middle of this city. Lysak the Cook, terrified of brutality, but has mines and bombs. Captain with the eye, he sees things. Everybody sees things, but he sees them. Uh oh. Okay, we had a bit of a crash. These things happen. But as it stands, I think going after the next tower is probably the best idea. And we'll see if these crashes keep happening. This might end up being a shorter video if they, uh, if they keep occurring. Grab versus grab, none of my business. Kalad 
ready on hand. Okay, so that's all of the towers, except for this one. Oh, we didn't actually get this tower. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go do that now. It had me spawn at the tower, but it wasn't one of mine. All good. Easy enough to fix. There we go. Okay, we've got a lot to do. We've also got some more story beats that we'll hit in a little bit, but not just now. Let's do this Kuru as well as hit this Ithildum. Celebrimbor respected the hunting instinct of Caragors, even as he made him or them his prey. Relive his greatest hunt by killing Caragors with arrows. Kuru, as my army fought its way across Mordor, I sensed my instincts for battle sharpening. Oh, I need arrows. Okay, I don't have a timer for this one. So I'm staying on the move, trying to make sure none of them catch me off guard because they're super fast. Got him. Defeated five, avoided being hit, and I got my headshots. Here in Mordor, the cunning thrive and the dull perish. Or they become slaves for as long as the cunning find them useful. Torek. We'll get back to that story another time. There's a worm up here. Great. 
Grisha, taker of heads, a legendary, but a trickster, so not super important to me. Tricksters are fine, I just am not a big fan of them. From the brute. Wow. Rampage, Rabid, Furious Charge. This, this guy might be worth something. We'll see. All at once. <laughs> okay, where are we going next? Gondor's artisans rival the elves in their dedication, if not their skill. None more so than our weavers. Paint on a wall or canvas will fade in time, but thread True. retains its vibrant color for centuries. Oh, she had more to say. Oh well, should have been faster. I wonder where this was intended to hang. Wherever it was, I doubt it still stands. Only the strongest fortresses last long here. There's an Athilden and a monument back here. Alright, keep them occupied, please. Hey, we got what we came for. Okay, up next. We still have this monument. So I am going to turn around. Okay. Can I get there from here? Let's find out. You maggot! I'll put you both in the ground! No, it's south I should be going. Ah, and it takes us to like a, a large underground cavern. Oh, this is so cool looking. Flack the Stout.
To most Gondorians, this midnight urn is a simple pot of clay. But to the denizens of Minas Ethel, it represented shared sacrifice that only those who live on the frontier understand. For centuries, the name of every able-bodied resident of Minas Ethel was placed in the midnight urn, and at sunset a name was drawn. That person would have to patrol the city's walls until sunrise. The task was ceremonial once we had a professional army, but that made it no less important. From our earliest days, it was always a neighbor watching from the walls. I was ten the first time they drew my name, and I've never been prouder, though I could barely see over the parapet. That's a nice little tradition. Why leave the defense of your walls to chance? It isn't about chance. It's about unity. Everyone's names are mixed together, and everyone takes a turn on the wall. <laughs> Okay, up next. Oh no, let's let's keep going through the the cavern. Heal up Karagor a little bit more. Brought your mother along, did you? I can see the <laughs> family resemblance. Okay, okay. Calm down. That was pretty funny, though. The orcs are neither the only denizens of Mordor, nor the first. Easterlings and Haradrim have settled here from time to time, often at the Dark Lord's invitation. They are scarce today, but one can still find their strange artistic carvings scattered in places from Nern to the city of the Corsairs. An artifact of the Haradrim. Interesting. Few find their way this far north. And for that, your nation should be grateful. It has been some time since we last crossed paths. Since then, the Dark Lord has strengthened me. Now, I am more than a match for you. I think after today, we will not meet again. Yeah, still not interested, buddy. Where am I going? Going this way. Yeah, you can shove off. Not interested. Also not happy about these spiders, though. Try to avoid the Graug. We've got a quest up here. Hanas, a keen strategist, Celebrimbor knew that he'd have to bring every technique to bear in his invasion of Mordor. Remember how stealth was key to his plans by killing Olaghai from the shadows. Hanas, discernment. When I labored with the bringer of gifts to forge the rings of power, even Galadriel did not discern how the rings would reshape the world. Okay, so I want to try to avoid detection, and I want to try to not kill anything other than the Ologs. Nope. Nope. 
Ooh, as a as a stealth mission, I'm already feeling the pressure. There's one up here too. So they're all over there. Is there perhaps I keep hitting an escape to try to get out of vision, which is silly. We're gonna try this again. Hanas, discernment. When I labored with the bringer of gifts to forge the rings of power, even Galadriel did not discern how the rings would reshape the world. Obviously, just walking up to them isn't going to be the thing. We're going to try this one more time, but if it happens, it happens. I'll just I'll just finish it without the gold. Hanas, discernment. When I labored with the bringer of gifts to forge the rings of power, even Galadriel did not discern how the rings would reshape the world. We're going to wait for you to get a little bit further. There's one. Now they've got all of these areas pretty well defended. Getting through without being seen is not going to be easy. And I assume if I go off in some other direction, it's going to tell me to come back, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. shooting an arrow to try to get them to, to move away. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be possible right now. So I think I'm just going to do it. Be detected. But we'll get the silver by not killing any other orcs.
Damn. Thought I thought I had uh, did the sneak attack, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, I'll take the silver for now. Maybe come back for the gold later. Sauron's fair form masked his true nature, and neither the Lady of Light nor I could discern how the story would end. Okay, we've got artifact down here. Where is it? to my right. <laughs> there it is. Minas Ethel is on Gondor's frontier, so we have few occasions for the grand balls and masquerades that are surely common events in the capital city. Fine dresses like this one are worn for ceremony. Funerals and weddings, mostly. Not for lordly entertainment. I wonder if the noble families of Minas Tirith spared a thought for us, holding all of Mordor at bay while they danced. No, not even a little bit. It's not their fault, though. They, they have, have to find Garment. Was they cast away? Who in Mordor would wear such a thing in days like these? That's that's a fair point, Talia. Okay, what next? Halfway. I never dared to break the seal on this scroll, though I often wanted to. I found it in a dust-covered box with a label marked Maps of Southron Trade Routes. Berenor is a Haradrim, so perhaps this scroll has a map of his homeland. Breaking the seal is strictly forbidden for those who aren't Lords of Gondor, and as much as I'm curious, I know my father would not approve. It doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Did you ever travel to the Southern Lands? There is little there that interests me, and few who go there return. Spiders! That was, I think, the exit to another... another zone. Okay, where are we going? Looks to me like the next spot is this. Story right here. That, uh, that little quest there. Oh, this is a dead end. A dead end with a Graug in it, no less. Whoa, lots of folks in there. Holy crap. Why are there so many enemies in there? That is bonkers. 
Come and get me, come and get me, come and get me, and... Boom! Okay, next mission. Throw out the champion by killing orcs with combat executions, then dominate him. The champion regarded warfare as an art form, and himself as Mordor's greatest artist. Making him my war chief meant pricking his overweening pride. I got my 25 hit streak. Level 49. Someone wants a shot of the title, I see. This is garden variety carnage. Mediocre. Sharpen your blade, intruder. Then test yourself. Against Mordor's champion! I will. Now I need to dominate him, not kill him. Wow, there's a bunch of different captains. You! Fancy yourself a true warrior, do you? You may be flashy with a blade, but I'm not so easily impressed. Your technique has flaws, and I'm about to show them to you! This is gonna be rough. Control issues again. Why won't you go up? That was weird. Now I don't know what consume is.
Okay. This is this is a rough one, friends. Let's get some health back. Get an ally or two. Out of elf shot, but there's some right there. If I can get to it. No, nope, that's not the way I'm trying to go. Suffering, but I can show you. Okay, we're not we're not doing that one again right away. That was that was awesome, but that was a lot, and I think that one's gonna be its own its own video. Cause that like even if I succeed, that one's gonna take a long time. So instead we're just gonna go back to finding things. I feel as though my life in Mordor has been much longer than any other I lived. This is but a moment in time. I have been fighting this war for thousands of years. Why do I feel like there's something up here? Because there is a memory. The next time we 
He despised the greed of men, the predictability of the dwarves. But most of all, he hated the elves who wished to embalm the world. Middle-earth will change, he told me. It will bend to my will. It will not be fixed in place, and it will... He wishes to remake the world in his own image. His image will be wiped away from Middle-earth when all is done. Okay, we've got an artifact over here, which we're going to hit up next. I've never seen a warg, but books and traveling hunters have told me plenty. The goblins of the north can ride wargs as the men of Rohan ride horses. Their howls can be heard leagues away, and their senses are keen enough to track even a ranger. What makes a warg truly fearsome is that they hunt in packs of a dozen or more. Categors are more dangerous, but they travel in smaller numbers. A feeble blessing, that. Wargs. I'm glad they don't range in the Mordor. Even a pack of wargs would find survival here difficult. Athildin, Athildin. Who's that? Somewhere here. Cyan. Okay, not bad. We're almost there. earliest memories are of being nestled under blankets as my mother showed me the illustrations in a storybook about Loki the Larrikin, whose mischief always ended in disaster, though she was always one step ahead of her stern governess. I found the book tucked away years later after I learned to read, and I was surprised to learn that the storybook was full of little morality plays, not the comic tales my mother told. I wonder why she did that. Doggerel to amuse children, I see. No. Something more. I read this storybook to my son. Long ago. Zuka, Karagor, Slayer, Mortally Flammable.
All right, we'll hit this monument next. like there is a oh it's in a cave okay let's grab this one instead then men and orcs have clashed for centuries in living memory, the greatest battle between them took place near Long Lake, where men, aided by elves and dwarves, battled the orcs and goblins of Moria. The free folk won the day, and some accounts claim that eagles of the Misty Mountains swooped down onto the battlefield, casting the orcs down from the cliffs and mountains where they stood. Seems a fanciful tale. I saw no eagles overhead when Minasethel fell. Though we did have Talion and his strange powers. Oh, we I see. would have welcomed aid from anywhere. Even the skies. Interesting. I don't think Talion has ever personally been part of these stories before. The eagles of the Misty Mountains are more than a myth. Perhaps. But I doubt they'd fare well against the drakes I've seen. Okay, where are we going? Going after this. seen a spider's web, strung with dew. That is the web of fate. All possibilities hang in the balance, but as the sun rises and the wind blows, the dew drops fall, and history is revealed. A dark lord, or a bright one. Middle Earth will have neither. I will shake the branch until all have fallen. Visions reveal all of them would save you. Truth? I used to believe in truth, but it is a corrupted virtue in the hands of those like Shelob and Sauron. <laughs> Come back here. 
So I'm looking for... Wow, I went really far. I just need to know how to get into there. So we're going to get far enough away to fast travel. Okay, there's the cave. This was definitely a good perspective. It's good to know that I can see it from here. Do I have to climb up the waterfall? Is that it? I do. There we go. That's more like it. There's definitely going to be something scary in here, though. This artifact was a gift from Gondor's other frontier, the long beaches of Unthalus along Gondor's distant shores. Their lord, Galasgiel, sent us this ceremonial bowl with water from the river Morthond, and we kept the bowl long after the water had evaporated. I've often daydreamed of visiting Unthalus. I think I'd like it better than the capital city of Minas Tirith. There is too much of the frontier within me to be happy living in settled lands. This bowl is far from home, as are we all, Calabrimbo. Okay, almost there. Looks like we've got an artifact here. So that'll be our next target. The elves of the distant north have long been named among Gondor's allies, though I've never seen one in person. This cloak is as light as the morning fog on the shoulders. I tried it on once, and its colors seem to shift and blend as the light changes. How meager the product of our looms is when compared to elven handiwork. Well, they've had a long time to practice. I recognize this cloak. It is of my people. A people we see precious few signs of in this land. Okay. Memory.
I claim you as mine, Ranger. With a sizzling brand, I'll mark you as property forever. We've been over this. Not interested. I don't know if the future is written or unwritten. My mind could travel up and down these paths, and they were like memories. But like memory, the mind would shape them to suit its ends. Were these my fears or my hopes? It takes a cold eye to see the future for what it is. Are these not the same dangers as the Palantir, the Hydea? There is a risk in all these things, but wars are not won by the cautious. Ooh, we've got a worm over here. Borgu <laughs> Life Drinker, a poisonous slaughter berserker. Pretty good, pretty good. I like him. Taste my flame. Okay, what's the next? Ah, okay, so I looked it up, and it looks like the last few bits and bobs that I can get in this region come from me doing the main quest story. So, we're gonna try this champion quest one more time. And that's going to end up being it for this video, which has run pretty long as it is. champion regarded warfare as an art form, and himself as Mordor's greatest artist. Making him my war chief meant pricking his overweening pride. Okay, so we're gonna start by picking up some people, getting some help. There we go. Okay, good start.
We are building a whole ass army for this. Okay, here we go. Combat executions is what I'm going for. I also want to get a hit streak of 25. Running out of people. Yeah, once again, can't get up onto those boxes, apparently. There's my 25 hit streak. So now I just need my last execution.
mine. Someone wants a shot of the title, I see. Okay, here we go. This is garden variety carnage. Mediocre. Sharpen your blade, intruder. Then test yourself against Mordor's champion! Fancy yourself a true warrior, do you? You may be flashy with a blade, but I'm not so easily impressed. Your technique has flaws, and I'm about to show them to you! Oh damn. It's going to be a pleasure to watch you writhe under my heel. Everything's better when you have a crowd. Targeting the wrong person. What is that? Was just bad controls. I'm 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 really upset about that. Like, I had him down, I hit E, and it kept targeting people other than him. He regarded warfare as an art form, and himself as Mordor's greatest artist. Making him my war chief meant pricking his overweening pride. I do know what consume is now, though.
Well, I got my 25 streak a lot faster that time. I know that I want to grab that Graug if I can. So let's see if I can find it. There it is. a shot of the title, I see. This is garden variety carnage. Mediocre. Sharpen your blade, intruder. Then test yourself against Mordor's champion! That was a weird angle, but nice. Here we go. Hey. Fancy yourself a true warrior, do you? You may be flashy with a blade, but I'm not so easily impressed. Your technique has flaws, and I'm about to show them to you. Let's rip him apart, boys. And my truly regrets ever setting foot in Mordor. Enough sweet talk. Get him! Remember to feed the Karagor. down. Again. 
Got him. I didn't manage to pull off the consume, but I'll take it. I will conquer for you. Yeah, I did not get the consume. We'll do that another time. Few orcs could stand toe to toe with the champion and live to count their scars. Sending him into the fray was as simple as posing a challenge. Many an able warrior can be so manipulated. Okay, we're heading back to the tower. We're spending six skill points. I'm just sort of filling in the gaps at this point. There we go. Upgrade the bow. Okay. I think that'll do it for now. Next time we will go ahead and jump back into the story. Thank you very much for uh, watching up to this point, and I hope I'll see you next time.